Sanctuary of Fog. Sometimes you stumble into a sanctuary unaware in some old ancient form of divinity ghost into your vision and you're suddenly worshiping the moment you're in because there's nothing else to do but stand in slight fear which is but a term of awe when God was an elk in the mist looking out into you before it steps slowly suddenly out of sight the way the divine likes to leave you with a certainty seen and no words adequate so you're silent to proclaim the sanctuary you've just been in as the fog follows the elk in disappearing and you recognize the trail you're on. Blossom's Bottom Blossom's Bottom is a landmark and makes you wonder what kind of place needs the cows behind to mark it as the farmer from time to time stands in the barn watching cars go by with oh my god mouth and passing. It may be a philosophical statement, the nitty-gritty of the obvious, so as not to be ignored, which pretty much is done everywhere, all the time, but not here. The name of the farm is the Overs Farm, but everyone around just calls it Blossoms, knows whose farm it is. Mel Pouch. This barn and this sign, both nearly beyond the memory of many when the barn was useful, in a certain way of living, a rhythm matched to sun and moon, and seasons depended upon whether good and bad, and what to do when one or the other ruled. Sure, it's advertising, but it was on a barn and not on a billboard. The way you could have the two messages side by side, one in presence, one in words, nothing littering the countryside, with singular messages making promises not worth keeping. Love Shack. Someone cared well for what should not have lasted so long, singular upon that plateau where seemingly there is no road. This old trailer stands. Spirits of earth and sky, someone rarely, if ever, seen, has made this monument to some unknown memory that keeps the time alive and longing and desire for what cannot die. It lacks the substance of a hunting camp. A place where lovers met is my best guess, and for a time, insufficiency was served to last a lifetime, and some acolyte of love has kept the shrine to pray at. The story told in some family history, told at Thanksgiving like hunting stories, told at no other time so this story lives, and maybe some grandchild takes their beloved and says, this is where my story began. The Rant. This is the nightmare vision we are haunted by, confronted with by the increase of AI and robotic realities we have made to replace ourselves. Two discarded card dummies with eyes seeing nothing and no words spoken in the closeness of a whisper away. Texts, emails, voicemails, the promise of connectedness leading to relational distance where for a thousand years what was taken for granted is now awkward silence. I know no other creature who would create that which, w which will itself replace, but that's a curious human trait, one we could do without. Do it again.